Hi, today's video is going to be about bioinformatics and here is a problem. Write a consensus sequence for the following set of nucleotide sequences. If you know how to solve this problem, how to write down a consensus sequence for all the six different sequences, please write it down, stop video here and later you can run video again and compare your answer with my explanation. And I will proceed with my explanation here. For example, uh, many of you probably know Tata AT uh, sequence that happens in prokaryotes. And uh, this sequence is a sequence at the upstream uh, region of the gene to which uh, promoter binds, promoter protein binds and uh, it happens in prokaryotes, bacteria but uh, it doesn't mean that uh, for example in all genes same sequence happens. Sometimes uh, can be different uh, bases for any of these places and for example for T uh, this base happens in 82% uh, of the cases and A happens in 89% adenine and thymine in 52% and adenine in 59% and next adenine in 49% of all the cases and the last one thymine in 89% so this is just a uh, consensus or agreement to call this uh, minus 10 region. This is another name for this sequence, minus 10 region. And also it's called prib now box. And uh, so this is, uh, if you know this information, now you would be able to solve uh, this problem. And in order to solve this problem, we have to count occurrence of the basis, for example, for the first row. And this is going to be 1, 2, 3. We have 3 uh, adenines and 1, 2, 3 uh, zymines. So we can put uh, adenine and uh, zymine here. And for the second row, we have um, one, two, three, four guanines and two cytosines. So we can put G here. Next row, we have one, two, two guanines and four cytosines. So we can put C here. Next row, we have one, two, three, four, four adenines and two zymines. So we can put A here. Next row, one, one uh, guanine and five adenines. So we put A here too. And next row we have one, two, three, four zymines and two adenines. So we can put T here and the last row we have one, two, three, four, four zymines and two adenines, so we can put uh, T here also. And uh, this is our answer. This is would be our consensus sequence for all of these uh, six sequences. And we also can calculate. Uh, percentage occurrence for each of these bases and I have uh, one example for you and this is uh, now would be more easy for you to understand what is uh, shown here so this is minus 35 region and minus 35 region uh, this is something that happens at the upstream region of the gene and here you see plus and plus 30 and that means this is uh, downstream region uh, of the gene and um, for example 
here uh, here is a promoter and you see that C and G here so this is 50% occurrence here and C and G here stands for uh, that uh, C or G prevailing in these places and here also data box so this is uh, not prokaryote uh, promoter but this is eukaryote promoter so it's a little bit different from the minus 10 region and data AT box that I explained it earlier uh, and here you see Y, Y and N and R new letters for you so I will also explain what uh, this letters means and here is another example and uh, in this example I want to show you another way of notation for uh, expression of the uh, consensus sequence and for example this is going to be A and square brackets C, T and then uh, N and then curly brackets and A and for example Y and R and uh, here you see on the first place is A and that means adenine and adenine in this example in, in this example happens in 100% of the cases and next we have uh, square brackets and CT inside and square brackets means that where the C or T may happen here but it doesn't uh, mean that C or T happens in 50% of the cases it's just uh, give us idea that where the one or another one base might happen in this place on in this is the second uh, place and third place we have N and N stands for any of the bases so this is can be adenine, guanine, cytosine or thymine here so N stands for any base and uh, next we see uh, adenine in uh, curly br brackets and that means that any uh, also any base might happen here except adenine so this can be thymine, cytosine or guanine but not adenine so uh, this is first place and uh, next we have Y this is fifth place and Y stands for pyrimidine pyrimidine this is um, any of two bases that has uh, two rings uh, sorry that has one ring and next we have uh, sixth place uh, for purine and purine is any of two bases that has two rings so pyrimidine one ring and purine two rings and now we can return to our picture here and you see that um, here we have R that is uh, purine and here we have YY that is pyrimidine and here we have N that uh, means that any of the bases might happen in this place so now you would be able to understand such picture and I also have another example for you and this picture were generated with a special software for uh, visualization and as you see uh, uh, here we have A, T and G and that means that in these three places only these letters might happen and probably you know that A, T and G stands for the start codon and this is highly conservative but uh, for example in this row we see that uh, A here large and other letters small and that means that probably about in 50% of the cases A uh, might happen at this position slightly less maybe 25% uh, can happen guanine and even less cytosine and thymine so the size of the letter stands for the percent 
of occurrence of this letter in this particular place. And this um, picture were generated with the help of the program WebLogo. And this is a free program that you can find if you search it in the Google. Uh, and this program were developed by, by Tom Schneider and Mike uh, Stephens. And as I said, it's free to use. You can, uh, for example, take this sequence, put it in this program and generate a picture similar to this one. So um, this is, I gave you three examples and this is the first example uh, how to, um, how, how consensus sequence can be notated and this is uh, another way and uh, probably this is one more and this is uh, the last one so you can find uh, different uh, uh, notations of the consensus sequence but uh, I hope now you would be able to understand them better and hopefully you find this information interesting and new for you so thank you for your attention Please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. And goodbye.